We're now going to make some lamb stuffed aubergine boats. We're going to make it a meal for two um, because we're going to use both half of the aubergine. Uh, if you're going to cook it for yourself, uh, then you, the price comes in about £1.70 or I mean, it's just fabulous value for money and lamb. Oh, such a delicious meat, full health, everything you want. You know, it's affordable, it's convenient, it's easy and super, super healthy. Let's go to Emma though and see how we do this amazing dish. Right, so we've got an aubergine. Mm -hmm. We are going to prep our aubergine first because aubergine is going to go into the oven okay. at around 190 degrees. Yep. Um, and you're going to be popping it in there uh, with for about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to cut our aubergine in half. Yep. We're going to kind of lattice score it. So you're just carefully scoring it. This to speed up the heating? This is, yes, to, to speed up the heating, heat, the heat. Yep. But also, um, once, our, once it's softened, yep. you're literally going to get a metal spoon, you're going to push it down yep. and then stuff stuff it with your lamb mince. Okay. Um, with the lamb mince, we're going to have the mince, we've got a tin of tomatoes, we've got some cinnamon, some fennel um, and some garlic. We're going to fry all that off in our pan. Um, with some olive oil, and then, yeah, we need to put these straight okay, in the oven. Okay, I'll do that in the oven while you're um, We're going to add a, add a tiny bit of olive oil to it, um, okay. to, to the aubergine. Pop them in the oven, okay? So now we can go on with our, um, with our mince. Hot wok. We've got some garlic, so I'm just going to grab that. Nature's medicine. No. I mean, it is. I mean, garlic. Uh, Stephen Whitley uh, once said to me, he was the author of Why Humans Like Junk Food. He used to be a scientist at Nestle. He said he struggles to imagine any dish that wouldn't benefit from either garlic or vanilla. He said, you just got to work out which one it is. You don't go put, putting garlic in ice cream and then maybe some things you probably wouldn't put vanilla in. He said, but you'll find it almost well, impossible to find a dish that won't benefit flavour-wise from one or the other. Just a small amount. Uh, and when you talk about health, I mean, garlic is so healthy. Oh, it's absolute powerhouse, isn't it? Yeah. So we're frying off the garlic. We've added in the lamb mint. We're just going to brown that off. Keep moving it round. Keep, keep the heat going through. An even heat through the meat. And then once it's browned, you can add in your cinnamon. So mm -hmm. cinnamon is a lovely... Um, spice, it's got a slight, you know, it's got a warmth to it, it's slightly sweet, um, so we're going to add that, that in in a and moment. If you like the flavour of cinnamon, fantastic news because on something called the ORAC scale, which is antioxidant scale, cinnamon is the number one. In other words, per gram, it has more antioxidant benefits than anything else on the planet. So if you like the flavour of it, you know, put it in dishes and away you go. Right, so approximately a teaspoon yep. of cinnamon. And then we're also going to be adding some fennel seeds. So you can make a little gap and add those in. And they will toast up nicely. And then once those flavours have combined into your meat, you can add in your tin of tomatoes. And then you're literally just going to let that bubble away for as long as it takes until your aubergine is nice and soft. Then you're going to stuff that into your aubergine. You're going to add on some, grated, some cheese. grated cheese on top. And this is a bit of a, an award-winning dinner, I would say. Yeah, and the smell of that cinnamon is just so it's beautiful, rich. beautiful, isn't so it? Beautiful. One thing I haven't added, and this mm. is entirely up to you, is sea salt. Yep. If you would like, you can add a little bit of sea salt, um, but if you would like to leave it out, fine. Just always be mindful. Always read the back of your tin of tomatoes. Does it include salt? If it does, leave it out. If it doesn't, add a little bit in. Good advice. Great advice. So we're just going to add in our tin of tomatoes. We, we're using chopped tomatoes. Now, they will reduce, so you can keep the heat high for a little bit. Once that's bubbling away, reduce the heat and it will thicken. You know, your, your aubergine is probably going to be in for another 30 minutes. So you've got 30 minutes for that sauce to really thicken up the meat to suck up lots of those juices, lots of that flavour, and you're going to be left with a delicious, colourful, yeah. 
And I reckon we probably only get to use about half of that across the two aubergines, so you can either yeah. store it uh, in the freezer for another day. So you know, you know you're now you're on your way to uh, another meal later in the month. Uh, you could do it with the aubergines, but you could put it over the cauliflower. Yes. You could put it over courgette, all the different things we showed you in different recipes, because there's no way two halves of an aubergine are going to carry this much delicious food. No, it's amazing. And this really is such, such a tasty dish. So we'll let that bubble. So the aubergines look very cooked. Yep, they're nice and soft. You can see it's easy to kind of mash down. Yeah. And that's all we're doing. We're just pushing it down. OK. Create the boat. Yeah, well, that's exactly right. OK. So and do you want a serving? Do you want them in here or do you want a serving plate? No, because what we're going to do is, so I'm going to put the lamb mince in there. Yep. You're going to add the cheese on top. We're going to pop them in straight the back in the oven. Got you, got you. Oh. Okay, beautiful colours. Yeah. Um, amazing ingredients. Smells fantastic. You can really smell the cinnamon. Um, just delicious. Wow, look at that. I thought there might be a bit left over. So I'm going to grate this. Uh, Mrs. P, I apologise if this is a little bit uh, off colour because I was grating a carrot a minute ago. So uh, hopefully, uh, it's OK. It's OK. Uh, we don't need as much cheese as we thought looking at this. No. So um, yeah, you're literally just putting some cheese on top. You don't have to do this if you want to avoid the cheese. That's absolutely fine. If you want to use a different cheese, that's absolutely fine. Um, what, you know, there we whatever you choose. Yeah, we love cheese though. There you go. Okay. That's fantastic. So I'm going to pop that straight into the oven mm -hmm. for about 15 minutes now. So just to let the cheese melt. Let the cheese melt. Let the, Put let it the all lamb together. cook in with the aubergine. And we're done. Wonderful. Wow, they look fantastic. Look at those. I'm really proud of those. Well, you should be. They <laughs> look delicious. I'm, I know they're going to be delicious because I just tasted a bit. Uh, of the lamb there. Yes, oh, you did. Goodness gracious me. So if you were cooking for friends, pretty much take all the same ingredients we just showed you, you just get one extra aubergine, because they are really stuffed. And because we've got so much left over, oh, you probably... Oh, there's easily, easily is, another, isn't there? Yeah, and that is a massive meal for one, or a starter for four. Yeah, and you can... I, I know some people don't like eating the aubergine skins, but they, they're really full of fibre, they're really good for you. I, I really recommend you that you do eat them. Um, just take off the take off the top. Yeah, brilliant. There we go. Let's plate it up.